Imagine standing in a desert so hot, your throat cracks with thirst. Sand stretches endlessly, no water, no life. But then, something impossible appears. A river, wider than the Nile, carving through the wasteland. A river that shouldn't exist. A lifeline 114 kilometers long, 70 meters wide on average, carved into the dunes, feeding a 6,000 square kilometer new delta where nothing but dust and rocks existed as recently as 2020. But now, you are seeing the water. You will probably ask question from yourself. How can such a colossal transformation from desert to river be real? This is Egypt's New Delta Project. Officially the Desert to Delta Initiative, an audacious multi-phase program to reclaim desert the size of Delaware. Phase 1 completion targeted by late 2025 will irrigate 6,000 square kilometers with treated wastewater, build two power plants, hundreds of kilometers of roads, residential zones, and what will be the world's largest wastewater treatment facility. Phase 2, due by 2030, doubles that footprint to 12,000 square kilometers. All of this leads us to wonder why is Egypt spending billions of dollars on this project while they have the immense and magnificent Nile River and how are they already achieving this impressive mega project in three years instead of ten? You are watching Construction War and don't forget to press the subscribe button to be a part of an amazing community. Egypt has a problem, a very serious and deadly problem. It simply does not possess enough water. Egypt has been dealing with a water crisis, and it's the driving force behind the new Delta project. Egypt's population is projected to reach 115 million people, a number that the country is already struggling to support with adequate water. According to the United Nations, Egypt faces one of the most severe water deficits in Africa. If things don't change, Egypt could run out of usable water as soon as 2025. But what makes this crisis even more challenging is Ethiopia's construction of the Renaissance Dam, located near the border with Sudan. While Ethiopia's primary goal was to generate electricity, the dam's presence has posed a substantial threat to Egypt's water security. Its strategic location right on the border introduces serious risks, not just for Egypt, but for Sudan as well. If this dam fails, it could unleash chaos across both countries. The threat is so real that the new Delta project has been launched as a safeguard. It's not just an engineering marvel, it's a life-saving safety net. Designed to absorb any potential disaster in the event of a dam collapse, the project is connected to the Nile River through gates and tunnels. These mechanisms are engineered to efficiently manage sudden rises in the Nile's water levels. The water crisis in Egypt is not a distant concern, it's an upcoming catastrophe. With a growing population and an already critical water shortage, innovative solutions like the new Delta project are not just ambitious, they are crucial. But the crisis doesn't end there. Egypt also faces the pressing challenges of climate change and increasing desertification. These issues have far-reaching impacts on agriculture, livelihoods, and the economy. Approximately 20% of Egypt's land is suitable for farming. But due to water scarcity, only 5% is actively used. This has forced Egypt to become the world's largest importer of wheat, the second largest importer of yellow corn, and the fifth largest importer of cooking oil. Additionally, Egypt depends on imports for 100% of its lentils, 80% of its beans, and 32% of its sugar. This heavy reliance on food imports presents a concerning scenario. Ideally, Egypt should be exporting these agricultural products, boosting the economy and reducing dependency on foreign sources. The agricultural sector is of utmost importance to Egypt. It contributes 14% to the nation's GDP, generates 28% of all job opportunities, and provides employment for 55% of people in rural areas. The livelihoods of nearly 40 million Egyptians, that's about 5 million families, depend on agriculture, livestock farming, and the food industry. So addressing climate change and desertification is not only an environmental concern, it's a matter of national and economic survival. The new Delta project arrives as a comprehensive solution to these challenges. By transforming the desert into an oasis, it not only secures water resources, but also opens the door to sustainable agriculture and economic growth. The project is expected to enable millions of families to maintain a reliable and secure source of income. 
Moreover, it will serve as a source of employment for over 20,000 new graduates who will be engaged in maintaining the project's wide array of facilities, including power stations, water infrastructure, wastewater treatment plants, and more. In this way, the new Delta project does more than just tackle the water crisis. It actively contributes to mitigating climate change and reducing desertification. It offers a ray of hope for Egypt's agricultural sector and its economy. Innovative water management lies at the heart of this ambitious endeavor. Contrary to expectations, the project does not rely solely on the Nile River for irrigation. Instead, it adopts forward-thinking strategies, primarily by recycling various types of wastewater to meet its enormous water needs. Here's the centerpiece of this approach, the Altam Water Treatment Plant, currently under construction. This advanced facility is designed to supply an impressive 7.5 million cubic meters of water per day for the project. Its ability to treat and recycle wastewater is crucial to ensuring the project's long-term sustainability. In addition, the new Delta project draws water from two other wastewater treatment plants located near Giza in 6th of October City. These interconnected facilities showcase the project's commitment to efficient and responsible water resource utilization. Notably, the project has avoided investing in seawater desalination. While effective, desalination is extremely costly, making it a less viable solution for large-scale needs. Instead, Egypt has prioritized the reuse and recycling of water, minimizing the demand for expensive desalination processes. The connection to the Nile River remains a key element, though not in the way most might assume. Rather than being a primary water source, it acts as an emergency backup in case of disruptions from the Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. To support this, an artificial river stretching an impressive 114 kilometers has been constructed to deliver around 10 million cubic meters of water daily. Interestingly, this artificial river is elevated higher than the Nile, meaning it cannot contribute to the Nile's flow unless water levels rise significantly. In such events, emergency gates and tunnels are in place to manage the overflow effectively. We've established that the new Delta project is a massive undertaking, one that's been in the planning stages since 2006. This lengthy timeline reflects its complexity and scale. It required extensive research, careful preparation, and spans vast areas meant to accommodate millions of people. It also includes the development of power stations, food production facilities, commercial zones, and expansive farmland. But what's truly compelling is the hope this project represents for Egypt. It offers a unique opportunity for the country to reclaim its status as a net exporter of food commodities and foodstuffs. This potential hasn't gone unnoticed. Multinational corporations, including those from China, have shown interest, viewing the project as a promising venture for future investment and expansion. Interestingly, while a project of this scale might carry a price tag of around $50 billion in countries like America or Europe, Egypt has managed to bring it to life at a fraction of that cost. This cost effectiveness is made possible by the availability of cheaper labor and materials within Egypt, making the project financially feasible and nationally accessible. The new Delta project is strategically located in the Daba Axis area, once a barren desert landscape with minimal development. Previously, only one major highway connected this region to the airports in Alexandria and Cairo. But today, the choice of this location is transforming it, unlocking the potential for regional development and enhanced accessibility. One of the most exciting features of the project is the 114-kilometer-long artificial river, promoted as the longest artificial river in the world. In reality, the full stretch is even more impressive, 170 kilometers long, as it connects to a new canal originating from the old delta this canal feeds the Altam wastewater plant, ensuring a consistent freshwater supply for the artificial river. Here, the artificial river is a true engineering marvel. It comprises 148 kilometers of open concrete canals, 22 kilometers of underground pipelines, some with diameters up to three meters, 15 lift stations to manage elevation changes, and 39 bridges for both vehicles and pedestrians. But Egypt didn't stop there. The new Delta project also taps into an extraordinary underground water source beneath the western desert of Egypt. This massive underground reservoir reaches depths of over 2,000 meters, 
and supplies shallower reservoirs ranging from 100 to 400 meters deep. These water-bearing layers have thicknesses varying from 120 to 900 meters, a vast and precious resource. To access it, over 100 wells have been established, providing an astounding 2.5 million cubic meters of fresh underground water for the project. Egypt's new delta is more than a project. It's a reckoning with scarcity. Will this river in the desert sustain a civilization or drown it in unintended consequences? Drop your thoughts below. Would you dare farm the Sahara if technology made it possible? And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for our next deep dive into the world's most daring engineering feats. We'll see you in the next video.